Well, as we were just talking about China's reopening, we'll see a surge in infections, but also in energy demand as well as factories and businesses get back on track. That may put pressure on gas prices, which are already high in many parts of the world. And that's partly due to OPEC's, OPEC's decision, rather, I should say, not to increase output. That's the group of oil producing nations, including Saudi Arabia. Later today, we're due to get OPEC's first monthly report for 2023. So for more on which way energy prices will go, we can bring in market analyst Peter Maguire, a friend of the program. A very happy new year to you, Peter. Uh, you know, we were just talking about China's reopening and the impact on the Chinese economy. What kind of impact do you see on global oil prices? Well, good morning. And a couple of things we need to be conscious of. We've seen a very strong move to the upside over the last 10 or so days, about 8 or 9%. So that needs to be absorbed by the market and also a sell-off as far as US dollar and base metals being bid up very, very strongly. Yeah. And, and going forward, you know, as we see that recovery path continue in China and fears of a global recession really starting to pick up steam now, what's your projection for the way commodities and particularly oil prices might go? Well, we think that volatility will remain. We saw incredible volatility over 2022. And that looks like coming out of the blocks in 23, that that will remain. So oil price is possibly stronger than what we've got at the moment, maybe through $90 a barrel very shortly. And demand is going to be increasing naturally due to China coming back on board. And with that demand increasing, as you point out, prices will remain volatile. What's your projection for 2023? Do you see more stability coming through? What sorts of factors do we need in order for that to happen? Well, yes, we'll see stability, I think, from OPEC from a supply side. But when we're looking at demand, it's hard to realise, you know, the actual numbers coming out of China, how engaged they're going to be and how aggressive as far as build, as far as energy consumption over the first quarter. So we, we think that you'll see stronger demand from China, higher prices and in turn, possibly a weaker dollar. And that in turn will create more market volatility for price. And just more broadly, Peter, you know, we talk about the global economy with you a lot as well and, and the way that's going. What are you factoring in in terms of a recession risk uh, overall this year? Well, I think you've got to keep your eye very closely on equity markets, what we're looking as far as unemployment, inflation numbers and what aggressive stance central banks are going to, are going to play. So, yes, recessionary fears are very embedded as every analyst mindset. And 23 could be a quite tough year moving forward from, you know, a big picture analysis. Peter McGuire, always great to get you on the program. Thanks so much for joining us.